That would yeah. get better. Yeah. Hi. So, May. <laughs> what is everyone drinking? I am drinking a smorgasbord of uh, gifts from the husband. I just finished a Mike's Hard Blue. I started a little early. Um, but now I got some Smirnoff Berry Blast. I got pink lemonade. And uh, I have a uh, Mike's Hard Red in the fridge. So I will try the cough <gasps> the syrup coffee later. coffee syrup. Yeah. <laughs> Not the I, I'll cough. let you guys know next podcast how that was. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, Bleh. I am drinking just sangria. Ooh, homemade That's sangria. It. Yeah, and I'm like a hippie drinking. So what's in it? Like, is that drink. raspberries or strawberries? Like- That's strawberries, and um, it's made out of um, plums um, from our own trees. Okay. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, and Fancy. peach juice and some rum. Ooh. And frozen strawberries. I like everything Sounds but yummy. the peach juice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I had to mix it with something. Yeah. I'm drinking, same as Jessica, the blue, but in freezy <laughs> form. <laughs> in a baggie. Ooh. Yeah, in a baggie. And it's a freezy. And it's the Mike's uh, hard blue freeze. So Big kid slushy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. A little so good. A little I also have um, Twisted Tea Peach. And then I have like a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, Dave got me a whole case. So, thanks, my husband. Drinking the whole case. I'm well, just no, the weirdo no, no. that just. I'm just the weirdo that doesn't like peach. That's just me. Listen, <laughs> I, just, I prefer not peach juice, but you know, when you have kids with autism, that's the only fucking thing they drink. It's yeah, you know, the only fucking thing you have in the house. You're like, I hate it. <laughs> well, the lyric doesn't even drink juice. Yeah, neither does Caleb. He just drinks water. Yeah, it's water only. Water. Oh, and one, no, actually, she drinks one other thing, and that's uh, iced coffee. <laughs> uh, Caleb will drink chocolate milk. That's but good. he prefers water. Yep. He doesn't like juice. <laughs> it's uh, okay. So they only get water all day, except for dinner time. And then they're allowed to drink whatever they want for dinner, and that's a speech. Juice. Yeah. Not like grape pop or anything, or like something good like fruit punch or anything that's not peach. <laughs> I just spilt all over me. I see. It's a special, it's a that special is sexy. Podcast. Yeah, Listen. no, this is for all the YouTuber watchers <laughs> on Saturdays. Yeah. The what t-shirt episode. contest coming in, Jessica? Oh my God, I will totally do that on a live stream. <laughs> I'll do it with you. Like if we raise like a certain amount of money or gifts or whatever. <gasps> we should do the trampoline yeah. with white t-shirts just jumping up and down. Oh, my poor baby. Well, Sonia hoses us. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was like, um, you guys aren't going to get anything top heavy from me. But I can, <laughs> I can do a hose. Yeah, you that, can hose that. us. And me and Jessica will just jump and we'll be like. Only <laughs> once we reach a goal. I'm not doing it for free. <laughs> right? No. People well, are we need a thousand subscribers. Well, we need a thousand subscribers before we can do that in the first place. But we get okay. yeah, people, hey, people actually guys, need to watch <laughs> listeners and watchers out there. If you want to see us uh, <laughs> jump on a trampoline wet, <laughs> follow us on TikTok so we can live stream at Opinionated Lushes. Yeah, that would be so nice. I try so hard for people to like us. So you know, if that's what it takes, that's what it's I like. will sell out my gender. That's fine. Same. That's good. <laughs> Everyone else is doing it. I know, yeah, right? Yeah, as well. Listen, if my feet didn't look like fucking hobbit scissors, I would totally show those off. Uh, if they look oh, like yeah. hobbit feet, then you just yeah. brand it as Lord of the Rings porn. <gasps> you will find someone. <laughs> I will and find. they will likely pay more because it's so niche. <laughs> I'm going to find it. Fet life, here I come. That's <laughs> it. All right. I'm going to do our question and then yes, our work. Yes. Okay? Okay, what age do you wish you could be at forever? But don't answer yet. Don't answer yet. I see you're about to. And then <laughs> the word is more. Oh, uh, okay. More. I just don't, I never catch the words because I'm so focused uh, on not saying it. Yeah. I don't know. All right. I can I'm go first. Start. Yeah, go I for it. I can go first. Okay. I am going to go with 25 because that's how old I tell everybody I am anyway. <laughs> and until somebody starts calling me out on my bullshit, that's how old I'm staying. That's it forever. Well, yeah. 
Might as yeah, well. why yeah. not? You might as well. Well, okay, you're not very tall. <laughs> I, I, our listeners don't know our heights. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. You're so, not very tall. I'm not. <laughs> which makes you automatically size. look younger. And I'm burping. And then Take your skin. Oh, I'm trying to think here. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I can't multitask. <laughs> but then your skin also looks really nice, and then you have glasses, and it just gives this like youthfulness. And so people will be like, if it was, yeah, like if it was just your height, people would probably be like, oh, maybe she's like thirty. And then you have like nice skin, they're like, oh, maybe she's like twenty-seven. And then you have glasses, and now you're twenty-five. Now twenty-five. <laughs> That's just... great. <laughs> the glasses make me young forever. It's true, like all of it together. Yeah, I do look a little bit older without my glasses. And then people actually don't recognize me. Like, I, like before I was like, people are so fucking stupid. How do they not know Clark Kent and Superman aren't the same person? All he's doing is taking his glasses off. But then I go somewhere without my glasses and people don't fucking know who I am. Like, <laughs> how are you so stupid? It's, it's true. <laughs> when I got LASIK... Like, I felt like I had a new face, and I went through a period where I didn't know how to do my makeup, because I was so used to doing it under glasses. Like, I was like, be like I, could, yeah. I can't do this, because glasses will cover it, or I have to do this bigger, or else you won't see it through the glasses, you know? And then yeah. just doing it on, like, a bare face, it was just, like, I felt exposed. <laughs> right? You're like, <laughs> glasses cover everything. Like, I never have to wax my eyebrows because, like, my glasses cover it. And I don't really need to wear makeup because my glasses cover it. <laughs> and I felt like my eyes were too small for my head. And so, like, <laughs> so my glasses made feeling? them slightly bigger, <laughs> you know? And I was just like, why are my eyes so small? <laughs> <laughs> your, your eyes are normal. I don't know if yeah, you noticed yeah. that now. Yeah, your eyes are pretty normal. <laughs> yeah, I do now. It's been, like, a year and a half. But, like, that was my <laughs> first thing was, like, why are my eyes so small on my face? <laughs> why do I look so weird? <laughs> oh, it why, was a transition. <laughs> why does Chris love me? <laughs> I asked my... Me? I asked for my small that eyes. Be- <laughs> yeah, I asked myself that before the LASIK. <laughs> Oh, like every time you take your glasses off, you have these beady little eyes. <laughs> <laughs> like like in those cartoons where it's like <laughs> yeah. full on glasses and then it's just little black dots. <laughs> yeah. Just every time you're about to get it on, that's what you look like. And Chris is like, yeah, that's no. my thing. <laughs> 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 How would you write that in the divorce papers? Like, her eyes got too small. Like, irreconcilable differences. (laughs) (laughs) Their eyes aren't the same as they used to be. So, like, I can't. It's not the eyes I married, okay? (laughs) Okay, I I, I would just let them. Like, I'd be like, okay, fair. (laughs) I agree. I I had small eyes. Like, I divorced myself. Like, it's cool. Like, it doesn't matter that your body has completely changed from kids. No, that's not the issue. No, it's your no. fucking eyes are too small. <laughs> well, I get, like, the body just changed. We expect the body to change with kids. Yeah. We don't expect, expect our, our eyes. eyes to change <laughs> so much. <laughs> this is fucking little eyes. Okay. <laughs> My, I'm kind of torn because I would love the body I had when I was, like, 23 with, like, the brain I had by, like, 25. Your brain evolved really quick in two years. No. I just, like, fully <laughs> formed. I want, like, a fully formed cortex before oh, I'm, like, okay. the same age forever. So I, I you, like, matured yeah. so quickly in two years. No, 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 no. It's more like I just want it fully formed before I, like, live the rest of my life at that age. You know? <laughs> you don't <laughs> want to be stunted? <laughs> no. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to, I don't want a stunted cortex. You already oh, have shit. little eyes. Sorry. You don't want a Sorry. little brain. My mouse came. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Sorry, I was cutting that out. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I just said she's editing it. Take a drink, everyone watching. <laughs> My mouse cord is loose, and it makes a. <laughs> Your mouse cord is loose. What? Yeah, my like my mouse. Oh, I the cord is loose, cord. and I, I hit like, it, and I went cord. cord? <laughs> right, no, my mouse my cord mouth. or tongue? <laughs> like is that? <laughs> I got a mouth cord. <laughs> so I'm gonna so name it now. Okay, I but it. I just I just want a fully formed brain in the body of my of my 23 year old self because it was like I was at like I wasn't just like thin or whatever because I was never like um growing up I was always just like bigger not as big as I thought growing up in the early 2000s (laughs) (laughs) like I'm at my biggest now and I'm just like ah, it's fine but back then it was like you were a size 10 you were the fat kid and um so when I uh when I was like 23, I was single. I had I was just about to like meet my husband. Um and I was I just got really fit between the jobs I was working and I started running a lot and I ran like 5k's and everything like that and I just got really really fit. A lot of people would be like you're so thin. I'm like I'm 135 pounds. <laughs> like I'm 5'6", but, but they'd always be like not. yeah, like that's yeah. I always had to keep like I had abs <laughs> never happening again damn i miss them every day <laughs> like and that's the, but then you know you get in a comfortable relationship and then and you, you have another out, kid and, and yeah you stop having time and i stopped just working outside the house so then i got round yeah. nothing wrong with round i keep trying to tell myself that all the time i know round it's is a shape it's beautiful <sighs> I it feel is. that way about everyone else. Else. Yeah, like, same. no one else should judge them based on what I'm judging myself. Right. Like, this is my own personal indoctrination and, like, fat phobia and, you know, things I'm trying to push forward. I'm literally wearing a, I'm wearing a crop top. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just wanted to show that off. And I'm the, I never wore a crop top when I was thin. Yeah, neither did I. Yeah, and I'm just like, man, I missed some, like, I would love to be 25 now in my 23-year-old body and wearing a crop top because they're in and doing something crop toppy wearers do, like, take photos in a field. (laughs) Yeah, that's what I want to (laughs) do. I'm I'm scared to be, like, that shallow, but yeah, that's what I want to do. That's that's it. Same. I've, I've never really shown off my belly. I have, like, I had cancer when I was, like, really young, like, 17, and now I have, like, this huge, giant scar, and people are like, oh, you should be proud of that, and, like, it's not my stretch marks that bother me, it's this big fucking scar that makes my stomach look like an ass, like, it has <laughs> two fucking butt cheeks, and, like, people are like, oh, be proud, I'm like, no, I'm not proud, it's gross, I don't like it, but, like, if somebody else was walking around like that, I'd be like, good for you, like, that's beautiful yeah. that you're able to do that. I, just I love the confidence <laughs> behind other people when they show off themselves and they don't care. Like, love it. That's the most attractive part is their confidence. Yeah. Which I lack. I'm like, that's right. what makes me unattractive is that I'm not confident. And I I fully accept that. Yeah. <laughs> me too. I'm like, I'm good at being a gremlin. Well, see, for me, it's like even at like my best physique, I was I used to like cover up my chest a lot just because I was larger t- chested and growing up larger chested. Whenever I wore a regular shirt, tank top, you know, whatever, it looked skanky, <laughs> I would always get told I was a skank. Like yep. that's literally it, and and so I yep. just stopped. And like even at my thinnest, I still had a larger bust compared to like other women my size and I just like stop so it took a while to even get comfortable with like having boobs I used to wear like two bras like I'd wear like a a, a normal bra and then like a sports bra over top like it was like I took me a while to even be comfortable wearing like a v-neck or anything that like had cleavage because I was like they're gonna call me a skank yeah you know I went to a phase yeah where I just wore (laughs) baggy shirts because I just I didn't want anything tight around my chest where it was noticeable so I would wear track pants and baggy shirts like for a good three years straight like since I was like 14 to 17 that's all I would wear is just 
baggy shirts. Like I, I had no confidence in my body, even yeah. though it wasn't that bad. It was actually really hot. And now I regret that I don't have it. <laughs> I keep looking back at old pictures yeah. of myself when I was like, man, I remember that. And I remember thinking I look so fucking gross. And I'm looking yeah. back and I'm like, damn. Right? Yeah. You just want to give them a backhand, right? You're just like, don't be so stupid. Like, yeah. Jeez. Well, no. when I, like and I then- said, I was 17 and I was trying to wear baggy shirts. And one time I went over to Sonia's um, sister-in-law's house with Sonia and she's like we're going in her closet and I'm going to dress you. And I was like no, <laughs> no. So, and Sonia's uh sister-in-law um she was an exotic dancer. Stripper. And so she had very nice <laughs> I just clothes. say stripper. There, we don't yeah. say like it's, it's a job. Like. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so she jealous. Had, <laughs> she had amazing wardrobe and so Sonia's like hey, you're going to wear this and you're going to wear this. And I was like no, not me. I looked hot. I looked yeah. Fucking hot. And yeah. now I look back and I'm like, damn. But before I was like trying to cover up, like, no. But no, I looked hot. I looked fucking hot. When we do go to Vegas, listeners, we're planning a Vegas trip in like yes. October. So be prepared for <laughs> video from that. Uh, if you want to see videos from that, we'll probably likely be posting them on our TikTok. So make sure to check out Opinionated Lushes on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. I'm to plug us wherever I can. Um, but when we go to Vegas, we all have to have at least one slutty outfit. Slutty I mean, I have like several. What the fuck are you talking slutty, about? <laughs> slutty just means more slutty than like an everyday outfit. Yeah. You're practically yeah. walking around in bra and panties. That's all it's I'm so doing. It's so fucking yeah. hot there. Yeah. Like you're gonna, you have to go naked or you're going to die. I went there in <laughs> August. Like, it wasn't that crazy. I mean, just because, like, when you walk, there's, like, uh, so much air conditioning on the strip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you're not w- actually walking that long without, like, feeling a blast a of cool air. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's only 30 here and I'm fucking dying. Okay, like it's like oh, let's carry spray bottles and water. (laughs) Yeah, and we could just like mist ourselves. Like we could in my cooler that I'm training for. So like, (laughs) yeah, I I am Rocky montaging for those who are listening. I am training with a backpack, fifty pounds, (laughs) so we can carry alcohol everywhere we go. (laughs) I gotta get in drunk person shape. It's been a long time since I've been out with. A cooler full of alcohol. I need it's a fucking COVID, so I need to get back in Boozerton shape. Boozerton <laughs> shape. <laughs> I guess That's I should crazy. go next. Um, okay, the age I would want is 18 because I wasn't 18. technically legal for anything, but I still felt great to do those things. Um, I had no responsibility whatsoever, no kids. Um, my mom was 18, still alive. 18, you can't buy booze. I still got other people, too. I liked it <laughs> even more. That's true. Uh, I went That's to underage um, clubs. Like, it was just so much more fun. Um, I love I, being underage and going yeah. to clubs. Wait, like, so yeah. do you want to so you want to go back to when you're 18, but do you want to yes. stay 18 for the rest of your life? Oh. Isn't that the question? Like, I don't care. Yeah. I want to go back. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Like, let's go back in time and then just continue that time the whole time. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I yeah. Like, I, I mean, remember... I'll miss my children, but uh, whatever. Bye. Whatever. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See ya. I remember there was this club on downtown. Um, it was, I don't know, but like, their smoking area was out front and you always got like somebody to like lick their you like you would lick their hand and you get some like dude yes who you rub you're them. cute and I'd be like hey I'll come say hi to you if you like give me your stamp and then they give you yeah. your stamp and then you don't go say hi to them because like you're busy with your friends yeah <laughs> yeah and then you just I get you too. jump the fence and you get to go in it was I called grew- fever that nightclub oh, was called fever. yes that yes sounds fever. So awesome. I, I went there Let's, yeah <laughs> So, like, you're not even old enough, but, like, yeah. you're wearing enough makeup to look old enough. And then you're like, hey, if you, like, have sex with me, you'll go to prison. But you don't know that. <laughs> like, you, could, <laughs> you could just, we could just share stamps. And yeah. then I'll say hi to you. But then I don't say hi to you. I leave and go hang out with my friends. Yeah, I did the same thing. Because, um, so, the stamp would mean that you could actually go to the bar. And if yeah. you didn't have a stamp, it meant you were underage and that you could only just do the dance. Um, 
So I would go up to random people and get their stamp and be like, I'll dance with you later. Or I'll meet you at the bar because you have your stamp and I'll have a stamp and then we can meet there. Um, and then I never did. I would hang out near the bouncers so they wouldn't approach me. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. And they sometimes they still did. They still would approach you. Um, but yeah, no, I did the exact same thing. It was my favorite thing ever. I just loved it. I just felt like it was so risky. <laughs> it is <laughs> risky. As like a grown ass woman, I would never encourage yeah, my no. daughters to do anything like that. Like just yeah. sneak in on your own. Don't try and get like stranger dudes to help yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, That's for me, I grew up in a small city. So we had like two bars. <laughs> and everyone knew each other so it was uh, a lot harder to like sneak in because your parents might be there oh yeah <laughs> what <laughs> you know like you had you know so um what i was part of the queer community like in um in my high school and stuff like that to the, where they eventually um got a club deal and they started having like um these uh I, i'm not trying to rat rat people out but we started having these like queer club nights um, and, uh, we, it was mostly high schoolers and then some like, yeah, yeah, I mean, it was a small town queer community, uh, but they would have a bar and uh, you could, and, and drugs and like all that kind of <laughs> stuff. And so that's just kind of where we hung out. Eventually the actual clubs, uh, like bars in the start, um, in the city started having like all ages nights or they'd have bands that were all ages. And then generally, yeah, you could just find someone that would buy two beers and then just <laughs> give you one. Like, no one's going to, like, come up to you when you already have the beer and be like, how did you get that? Because they just assume you, like, went to the bar and showed your ID. So yeah. that was pretty much until I was pregnant. And then once I was pregnant at 18, I went to the college. I saw Marianas Trench at the college uh, nearby because my friend just signed me in. They didn't ID me because I was pregnant <laughs> <laughs> and then i went to another bar karaoke night and uh because i was pregnant they also didn't id me so uh, like well if you're old enough to get pregnant <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, they just, i think they just assumed that even if i was young i just wasn't drinking which yeah. i wasn't i was like i went to go see mariana's trench like yeah. it wasn't like i was like going there to drink and see mariana's trench so yeah yeah <laughs> i remember going to a mariana's trench concert they went to um Sound of Music, and they I were at Sound of Music a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved it. I loved it. They, they go put this on year? a good concert. Yeah, they yeah they do. They they do. They do. I mean, you know, Canada. Woo, represent. Yeah. <laughs> They're not making any more music though. Makes they just sad. made something recently. No, they like, didn't. Like two years ago. That's oh, <laughs> you're <recent>. like, <laughs> yeah. But, that's not recent. Um, Josh Ramsey, like uh, that's his name, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, lead singer, he, yeah. he yeah he writes like for a lot of other people mm -hmm. i mean when he wrote like call me maybe yeah yeah for uh carly something carly ray jepson that's right she's also canadian yes yeah. i fun fun represent people. sorry what was that fun fact i realized that apparently canadian radio stations were forced to play what was it 40 percent canadian music in it so then I was watching a TikTok and they were playing all these songs and it was only for Canadian radio. And I was like, I know that song. I know that song. I know that song. Apparently these were not popular in the States. Yeah, it's CanCon and it's actually like super confusing because like when can Canadians and like Americans collab on songs, they have to determine like how much of the song is considered Canadian content. So a lot of the times <laughs> they'll come to like a studio in Toronto just to record because then they're using a Canadian studio makes it more Canadian content because yeah. they know the song will blow up in the States. And so they force it to become Canadian content to like force it to be on Canadian radio. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like it gets really complicated. But yeah, yeah, they do have to do that. It's really I mean, it's good, I think. I thought it was more a higher percentage. No, it's 40%. No, it's only 40%. 40. I thought it, I just like assume everyone's Canadian, I guess. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed. I, I assumed it would have been less. I thought because I knew there's a lot of American artists out there that they would promote, you know, they'd have like 80% that and only 20 Canadian. But no, a lot of these singers I thought were American were actually Canadian. I was like, okay. Yeah, I was going to say that, that, um, uh, by the way, you said the the word, right? Did you? Was it more? Mm -hmm. More? Yeah, yeah. 
Um, I caught one. Yeah. <laughs> good for you. We should drink extra. Okay, we'll drink extra just because she Sorry, caught one. I okay, that just made me excited for a minute. <laughs> I was like, Wait, I'm, you also no. said it okay. when you said that's the word. So we got Yeah, well, I just wanted to Oh, confirm. I said it again. <laughs> just like keep drinking. Choke, 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 Listen, choke, choke. it's been weeks. I need to catch up. My liver is healed. We need to damage that shit again. <laughs> is it because you've been so fucking sick? I know. So now that you I'm guys, healed, I'm like, knock her down. If you guys ever need a kidney and I'm a match, I'll totally give you my kidney or a part of my liver. Thank you. Thank you. I'm I don't just know saying. how well your liver's gonna be towards because you know we're both drinking a lot, so we might have to steal that from well, Sonya. But maybe, 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 maybe I'm just saying this to seem like a good person. Yeah, because yeah. you can never prove I wouldn't if I'm not a match or if my liver isn't good. Yeah, well, I'm <laughs> it's all, all for selfish reasons. But so don't think... take offense, Jessica. I'm gonna go to Sonya for the liver rather than you. Oh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm fully offended. With a kidney, I'll totally take you up on that. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Kidneys are also affected with drinking. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, you have two kidneys. You only yes. need one. Yes, you do. Yes. Don't be greedy. Eventually, <laughs> we'll be able to 3D print them, and then I'll be fine. Yeah. Just like, yeah. <laughs> I have a 3D printer. You want me to get you one? <laughs> they're, they're working on it. They are. They're going to be a plastic on one. Yeah. A little resin, resin kidney. Are they working on like wombs too to like hibernate fetuses? Fetuses hibernate them. Yeah, you know, incubate them. <laughs> incubate them. Yeah, whatever. Like, now okay. it's hibernate. keep them cold it. and sleepy. <laughs> okay, whatever. You know what the I love ride. that. I love it. <laughs> I would actually. Herpes. I would love. If we could figure out how to grow babies outside the womb. And just let it be a woman's choice if they want to grow idea. in the womb. I think it's a great idea. And then people could choose. Just be yeah. like, you know? Like, and especially if they have health risks already, why risk it? If you could do that on Krypton. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> and, and that would also stop the worrying about vasectomies or hysterectomies or tube tying or anything like that. Because you could just pull a bunch of eggs before you do the procedure, freeze a bunch of sperm before you do the procedure, and then whether or not you want to have kids in the future doesn't matter. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> I solved a problem. You, look at you. Problem solver of the year. <laughs> <laughs> now I just gotta figure out how to, like, create the, the answer to the problem. Yeah, right? <laughs> just, just gotta. Just, just get gotta. on that. Just... Do you guys know if they keep GPS things on, like, solar panels on, like, traffic lights? Probably. Not, not that I want to start a crime spree, but I was no, thinking. I say probably, <laughs> too, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, like, I'm not, like, 100% sure either, but I would guess yes. Because they, like, leave them unattended, and, like, I could power my house if I get enough of them. So like yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna say that yeah, they definitely uh if they have don't have GPSs of... on them, I could just take them. And the government would be like, hey, like we just have a lot of these lying around anyway. Yeah, the government will never just be like, Oh yeah, we'll go for it. We have a bunch of them. Like, no, they're gonna get you. If Damn. they don't have a GPS, then they might have a camera or something nearby. Yeah. What? Or satellite like, a, something. like if they're at, yeah, like a stoplight camera or something. They definitely have satellite something. Yeah. Just like powering the blooms made me think about like how I could like get the government to power my house. <laughs> they yeah. should just be doing that anyway. Like literally they should just be like, oh, you want to solar power your house? Here's some free solar panels so that we can like help the environment a little bit. Yes. In Let's Sonya not get Bill, on the every subject roof. of what the government should be doing because that's a long fucking list. Well, it was something like a like a ugh, I don't I want to spit out facts, but there was like a like a quarter of the Sahara Desert in solar panels would be enough to like power the world right now, and we are I mean that's at the Sahara Desert, so obviously they're getting more light there yeah. <laughs> but you need a bit more area space if we split it up between like other areas but i'm just saying it's not that impossible to like solar power the planet 
or like yeah. wind power, which is more efficient than solar panel. Yep. Um, you can have those fucking everywhere in unused land and farms. Even but having they're farms. ugly. <laughs> I think they're beautiful. They're like Same. looking at fish tanks, and you just like watch them go. They're gorgeous, but and they give you so much power, and people don't want them because there's some ridiculous facts that they cause migraines. I'm not saying they don't, but there's not really enough studies. But also those same people would be sensitive to other things like living by a power plant or <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say living near trains. a nuclear plant. Yeah, or like trains, like the same kind of like there's a lot of vibrations and train tracks and stuff like that. So like maybe not have windmills everywhere, but like there's mountains that aren't in use. There's like highways. You can put it on there. And like, it's just, the government is just like, no, what? let big business control all the people. Did you guys see, what? okay, did so did you guys see the nuclear, what was it, the nuclear island uh, documentary on Netflix yet? No. no. <laughs> okay. So it's about a nuclear plant in the States from like the 70s, I want to say, that had an accident as they turn it, term it, and they literally, like, lied to the government, and then when the government found out about the lie, the government still protected them, and, like, so many people got sick because nuclear radiation was just everywhere, and they were all like, no, it's fine. No, it's you're, fine. you're lying about the skin lesions. That's not actually <laughs> happening. And then people lost, like, all their livelihoods and got a bunch of cancers, and the government <laughs> paid them nothing. <laughs> But no, windmills. We are like Earth. Though. We shouldn't have that, though. Didn't right. Trump have some sort of rant about that? <gasps> what well, was they were that? Gonna talk about like... Ford. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, no, that asshole was... took them all out. <laughs> okay, we don't like Ford. We get that. But yeah. no, Trump had some stupid yeah. thing about birds and like, and that they were ugly. Like that's where I took yeah. that from. Was Trump's speech? They're just like yeah. not. They're not nice. But there they're was like. Nice noise pollution or something <laughs> yep. and then birds would hit it and die and then they would all be dead and hanging around the windmill i was like what but like what skyscrapers are, are so much worse for birds i know like and the types of mirrors and windows they put in by them. the way you said more <laughs> oh goodness <laughs> i caught a good job word i caught a word <laughs> we're, we're, we're catching them we're catching them we probably missed a bunch, but yeah. <laughs> Yay! No, it's just the. I just I right now I'm just like I hate the man where like they control food, they control shelter, they control power. Uh, I just am so mad that the government has allowed this to happen. Like, I pay your salary, assholes. Like, Sonia? let me fucking eat. What? Do you still have a piece of mail that has a Hamilton address by chance? A Hamilton address? Or or an Ontario address? I probably have lots of mail. What do you need? Uh, I want to... Uh, no, actually, we shouldn't say this online. <laughs> You're just gonna Are you doing voter, voter fraud, fraud and, like, announce Listen, it online? As somebody I can worked... edit it out. Drink. Okay, edit go, go, go. Drink. I can edit it. Drink. <laughs> I'm going to cut just to where I said I can edit it out so no one has any context of what <laughs> I edited it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey Sonia, can I have edited out? <laughs> <laughs> just as I just should say edited. Yep. Uh, yeah. But I work at used to I every time there's an election, I like working it because I love I still, no matter how fucking angry I am, I still believe in the system. But just the, I'm just so angry and disappointed. Well, darling Ford, you know, Uncle Douglas. Um, he has it now where you can do mail-in ballots or you can go in. So if you do mail-in, you technically don't need ID. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> need to talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I think I, um, I'm still getting mail forwarded, so I'm guessing. I think you should vote for the Ontario election is what I'm I mean, saying. I'm just saying that the I post office is a political, like, is a, uh, government- body so they would have the fact that you're forwarding your mail on paper i know but no. you just ruined it <laughs> i'm coming to visit 
<laughs> When's the June vote? 2nd, When's... are you coming to visit June yeah, I'm 2nd? cutting <laughs> all of this. <laughs> and it'll be up to you as to whether or not you want to cut um... it for the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just it. I'm just leaving it. We'll find out if the government cares. That much. <laughs> yeah, but your one vote. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. I, I can't vote. Anyway, our vote is not for another two years. And it sucks because there's a conservative government here. Yeah. Did you know most of um Canada is under conservative government, like yeah. uh, like provincially, but like obviously federally we're liberal. Oh. Um, but provincially most provinces are conservative. Oh, that's because the country it's um it's only big cities who that see the issues and problems that vote like more liberal. That's what I was it's, gonna say. Yeah, like if you look yeah. at oh, yeah. If you look at Alberta, it's all blue, and then just scroll into Edmonton, Edmonton and Calgary and is scroll NDP. in, and it's like you see like it's like blue, 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 and then yeah. eventually you see a speck, and you keep scrolling, and then eventually you get <laughs> it's to Edmonton some red. and Calgary, and they're <laughs> yes. NDP. So like it's like the so like country folks, you're spread out. You don't actually get to see the problems people are facing. It's yeah. ignorance is bliss, right? You're like, well, I don't know anybody with autism. I don't know any homeless people. I don't know anyone with a learning disability. Although most fucking country people are dumb as fuck. You all have learning <laughs> disabilities. You you all have the <laughs> autism and you just don't fucking they, know it. They all either have lead poisoning or fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh my God, we're going to get so much hate. I love <laughs> just Oh my God. Every fucking fucking country person who lives in the country will be like you, you guys cry? are bitches but like listen if you want to educate yourself and prove me fucking wrong go for it but like yeah. you'll notice that your information is limited you're you don't care above and beyond your small community which is mostly your church a lot of country folk go to church and if your church doesn't care then your chances are you're not going to care like, yeah. if your church well, is like, well, we don't have homeless people, you're going to think there is no homeless people. It's just fucking made up. So it's that's just what it is. Yeah. But if you want to prove me wrong, let me know. <laughs> the two people who actually <laughs> listen, you let me know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Our three followers, let us know. Uh, right? Guys, actually, we have like 17. So, <gasps> oh, so 17. So thank Eddie. you. Our 17 yes. followers. <laughs> thank you. If you want no, to write, do they comments. actually like listen to us all the time, or did they follow us and then forgot um, about? I us? get a total. I know the total number of followers. <laughs> that is what I know. That is what I'm given. If you listened and didn't follow us, tell us why. <laughs> <laughs> I they have to listen to us first. <laughs> I've noticed if like the words anything like sexy is in the title, we get views. So like maybe we just like. Like, it's the videos that get the most, like, the YouTube ones, like, with strippers yeah. and nipples. I'm pretty sure they are hoping that they're, <laughs> they're, they are hoping there's nipples. Right. Sorry, the guys, there's not. Wait, here's, <laughs> here's the thumbnail. There you go. <laughs> just, okay, there. I can, I can draw them. I can no, no, it's there, but... Jessica and Don jumping on trampoline. That, that's what the title will be. No, and, and then you gotta one. put in, per, in, in parentheses, put wet wet yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like I, they have to use like weird words like wet moan donkey yeah. i don't fucking know bounce bounce, bounce. roast pig roast <laughs> kids are going to a whole other that thing we are? <laughs> <laughs> no one was mentioning that at all and then there's sonya just like said that right in right? there we'll get listeners we'll get listeners just you just put them in the titles that's the one thing i miss about like even my body like six years ago because i didn't have my second child by then was just like my boobs were just a little bit higher just a little bit, a little bit. you know and it, it just it, it felt a little better in my bras and a little better just in my shirts and just better back then compared to like <laughs> <Just> now <laughs> yeah. yeah i would like before i would talked about the googly eyes i would like less googly eyes I had kids young, so at 25, I still had googly eyes. Mm. Although no one's ever complained about them. So, you know, maybe nobody cares about googly eyes. Maybe no, that's men, just... men don't actually care. They're just like, oh, tits. Like, yeah. they, they just, you know, deer in headlights, just they're like, it's a naked woman. Or I'm about to get laid. Like, they don't actually pay attention to these small things. But then other men, when they're not having sex with you, 
they'll pay attention to those small things and make fun of you for them. It's those yeah. men that are not having sex with you that are like, ew, stretch marks or that are judgmental. It, we're like, yeah. We're not we're not getting it on. Why do you fucking care? Like everyone else who's jumping in on this ride doesn't give a shit. But since you are missing out, you apparently have an opinion. So That's like always how it is. Right? Like your buddy who got to jump doesn't care. <laughs> But apparently you're a little sad. You heard how good of a time he had. So now you have to be judgmental about it. That's it. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. I just imagined, like, um, men, like, sleeping with someone and then coming out and, like, holding up, like, scorecards. <laughs> like, like if it was, like, a dive. You know? <laughs> yes. And there's, like, a bunch of men that you slept with and they're all holding up their, like, eight. Eight. 9.5. <laughs> Seven, and then the one guy you didn't sleep with, and he's like one, <laughs> two point <laughs> two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a that's a bias score. Although I guess the other ones are pretty biased too. <laughs> <laughs> but that's we the shed. Oh, have you guys seen Upload? No, Upload? but I've I've like heard like I saw the trailer for it. Yeah, and I they have the concept like a was great. They have a rating system for, like, their dating apps. After you've, like, had sex with them, you can, like, rate how, like, good they are. I like that. Like, we should have that as an actual app. That would be fantastic. Yes. And I feel like there also needs to be, like, a comment section. And it has to be constructive criticism. Yes, on what they can do better. <laughs> yeah. But, like, yeah, exactly. Like, I don't, like, I would love an app like that. But I don't trust humans. And I feel like a lot of humans would be like, oh, this is garbage. This is da 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 Oh, like, yeah, that's not helpful, advantage. right? Yeah, yeah, like no, you're not sleeping with them again, but maybe give them pointers as to right. what they can do better for the next person. Like doing like a dolphin thing is not sexy. Like you don't need to move your whole body like this. It's, <laughs> it's not fun. Okay? Like, like, get it's off. <laughs> like it's not. No, no, that's not. Don't do it. And like, you know, just fucking don't do that. That's not fun. My for favorite. Anything. My favorite thought is that men have to twerk when they're having sex. Like, <laughs> and I just imagine every time their butt's clenching. Oh, my God. Because I know. <laughs> like, I'm, yeah. I'm never having yeah. sex again. Because these are the images I'm going to be thinking <laughs> during. And... Okay, I have a problem with having it from behind just because all I can think is that he's looking at my butthole right now. He's looking <laughs> at my butthole. They love it. They I know are. they. Love, I don't love it. They I love the balloon I'm not enthusiastic <laughs> about my butthole. Like if you're like, oh yeah, that butthole, then I'm maybe I'll like be like, okay, he's into it. But if you're just like quiet about it, <laughs> and I'm like, what's he looking at? <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what's did I wipe my properly? Bubble? Like, what's yeah, going like, on there? I I um, made sure to double check. Like, they, I don't understand. They just love it. They're just. They, some of them are shy about saying they love it, but I'm pretty sure. It's fucking everybody. Like, it's just, I, I'm not a fan of the blue knot, but, like, most men are obsessed. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, it's the taboo, right? Yeah. The taboo is always kind of sexy. Except for when you give into it and they're still obsessed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Sonya? You're not into anal? Is that what we're going with? I'm saying I'm not into looking at balloon knots. Just <laughs> looking into them. Okay. Well, I, you don't I'm, have to look at it if you just have to show yours. Right? Yeah. I, like, at that face down, you know what it is? Like, you okay, I, I can't do that with my arm. Sorry, my arm doesn't <laughs> do that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> For me, it's like, I do that so that I'm, like, taking weight off my arms and it's just more comfortable. <laughs> it's like I can put a pillow under my head and just relax. Like, have a nap? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes I don't know. I'm like really short, so I have to like almost and like it's hard, man. I gotta like it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's difficult. Well, I sure hope so. It's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> but like my least favorite thing about from like behind is that like I, I keep looking because maybe Kyle's gonna walk through the door. But like <laughs> Kyle's testicle—they're like the biggest fucking balls I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. They're like twenty pounds. 
like that. And then they okay, just am like, I keeping this in or editing it out? <laughs> no, no, keep it in, keep it in. Okay, I just wanted to double check because like, I'm like <laughs> they just like smash in, and like I'm worried I'm gonna get a fucking bruise. Like it just like they're just and bruise on what? Wounds. Like with like my body. your curtains. Like no, it depends on like what position you're in. You know, but we're, like we're talking about from behind. Yeah, but then they're gonna like they smash into like your legs and stuff. How big so are he's they? Like wide. Like, like they're, they're like, like wide. Yeah. yeah. They're okay. Listen, like I'm not joking when I say sometimes <laughs> they're like this. Like that's why I got pregnant so fucking easy. Okay, like they're just man. He just build you up. <laughs> right. They're just like, oh my gosh. He didn't give your egg a chance. No <laughs> wonder you did like oral. Could you imagine taking that in the mouth? Like get a whole bath. The balls? <laughs> yeah. Like, they won't fit in there. They would bruise my face for sure. But they <laughs> knock me out. It's like <laughs> You say about okay. You say about bruises, but like once I, I had this real skinny boyfriend, you know, a twig. One of the twigs. Oh, yeah, twig. yeah, twig. yeah, yeah had boyfriend. one of those too. Yeah. Yeah. And um that's what would happen. His hip bones would literally hit my thighs, like if we were in missionary and stuff. And then I would have bruises like on my inner thigh from his hip bone. Okay. So when I was like 18, 19, and me and David were, you know, doing everything, he was skinny, I was skinny, and you got bone rubbing up on bone. Right? It's not fun. <laughs> yeah. So you got your hips rubbing it like oh. I'm sure it made a grinding sound. That's how bad it was. Oh no! I, I don't know why I still found it sexy enough that I got pregnant, but I did. Sometimes accidents happen. You know? <laughs> Quite literally, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how sexy you find the person. <laughs> accidents <laughs> still happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking kids don't have them. They're gross. Yeah, red flag. <laughs> red flag. <laughs> fucking someone, someone who impregnates me. Red flag. (laughs) (laughs) Nobody wants that. Just throw them out. Like I said, just I'll miss my kids, but bye. Like like throw the like prom dumpster. After the age of twelve. Age twelve and up, like just get rid of them. Before twelve, maybe keep them, depending. They're still cute. But after twelve, man, just garbage. (laughs) Just throw them in the garbage. (laughs) I wouldn't care about I wouldn't care about having kids if we had the community that people used to have with kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't mind watching the neighbor's kids for, like, a day or two a week if they watched my kids for a day or two a week. Yeah. But it's, like, this whole individual house living that's currently happening here um, with the uh, societal differences between generations with their parents that is, you know... Um, causing rifts there, it's, like, really hard to do that all on your own, and I feel like Mm -hmm. that's where I, like, I lose my cool. It's like, I'm, like, gentle parenting, and then I'll just snap because I'm having a day off in 200 days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) It's it's not easy. And, like, I sometimes don't like other people's kids because some people's kids are jerks. True. And I am not raising jerks. So, like, yeah. if my kids are ever disrespectful, like, um, you know, sometimes the kids talk back, whatever, they're working things out. But if they're, like, punching things, kicking things, swearing, threatening each other, like, that's a, I don't care what kind of fucking day you're having, you're you're grounded. That's it. Yeah. But a lot of people are like, oh, that's fine, like, whatever. But, like, if my kid were to ever go up to another kid and be like, oh, I don't like your hair, like, curly hair is stupid obviously more aggressive but i can't i don't have the heart to say that about other yeah. people's kids my kids would be grounded forever like that's that's inappropriate unacceptable behavior but a lot of people are like my timothy just like likes to have fun and that's bullshit i also feel like there's so many issues that can cause kids to be like that that the parents don't get help for or can't receive yes. help for yeah, yeah that's so it's like too. sometimes it's issues in the home yeah. and the kids just picking up from that and then yeah. that needs outside support. Yeah. Sometimes it's, I mean, Ernest went through a violent phase when it came to switching medications with his epilepsy. And we did not get support for that. Um, and it, and so it took a few months where they were like, he's just 
you know, he's doing all this stuff and we had to keep explaining that it's his meds and like, we're trying to work with the doctors, but we can't just stop giving him brain medication. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then there's like other um, behavioral illnesses that some parents have that they I, either they can't get help for them because they can't afford it privately and there's not much public help or they refuse to acknowledge it. They're like, right. my That's kid can't have a ADHD. My kid can't have ODD. My, My kid can't kid have, have ECD. autism. Like yeah. that's not in our family. I like, don't know. But there's and, okay, there's a difference between having really vindictive asshole kids and then just having kids who can help help themselves. Like yeah, like those kids need constant reassurance. They need routine. They need. The same yeah. type of discipline all the time. And like my kids are come come up to those category where they need the same. Oh, you burped. <laughs> I did. I was trying to hide it. <laughs> my kids need the same type of disciplinary action every single time. Or they're just not going to know about it. And like I sound like I fucking beat my kids. Okay. I <laughs> Like it's like no DS. You know, <laughs> like, that's yeah. like we talk. I don't about believe it. in corporal about, punishment. No, like, we talk no. about feelings, and like people are like, oh, that like, that doesn't do anything. And like a lot of people are like, oh man, I have to smack my kid. I'd be like, I've never hit my kids, and they are the most polite, sweetest kids I I've met because that's yeah. how I raised them. And like even now, Kara's almost twenty, and she is a fucking sweetheart. She's never had a day in her life where she's wanted to go out and hurt someone or accidentally hurt someone because she's having a bad yeah. time. We teach emotional like growth and how to deal with situations. And that's how you end the abuse cycle. Yeah. But like, a lot of people are like, Timothy's just, you know, boys will be boys. Ha, 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 I find ha. that's the problem too. It's either, it's either like, I don't, I never blame children for their behavior. Mm -hmm. So it's like when they're vindictive assholes, it's like I hate them, <laughs> but I also understand that it's not their choice to be this way. Yeah. It's something is causing it, something either but in them or outside of them. And I find a lot of the times if it's the parent ignoring the issue, it's because they're probably the culprit of it. <laughs> right. They're doing it themselves. Yeah, they because they don't want to go to therapy. They don't want to admit they did something wrong. Yeah. No. Like. Why? <laughs> and like empathy is a taught emotion. Yes. Like it's very rare that a person's naturally empathetic. You have to learn it. Like in kindergarten, you learn to share. You learn yeah. not to be mean to your friends, your new friends, future friends, past friends. You just, you learn it. And teachers, like, thank God for them. Because a lot of parents don't teach these skills. Like it just, they're like, well, listen, my kid will naturally learn that eventually. But that's a lie. Like, nobody knows nature behavior. Like, yeah, no. They're just you have assume. to teach what's wrong and what's right. And I know yeah. there's now gray air and stuff. But, I mean, there's a basic line. <laughs> yeah, still. yeah. Well, and like, you can also teach no, nuance. Don't. Like, like, kids aren't yeah. stupid. So it's like, when it comes to, like, nuanced things, like, we say, like, don't hit people. But also, if someone's beating the shit out of you, mm -hmm. like, do what you can to run away. And like, you know what yourself. I mean? Yeah. And it's like, so you don't say like, violence is never the answer. You say violence is never the first answer. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then talk through it like that kind of way. It's, it's, you know, it, yeah. Like even, even in the gray, gray type areas, it's just like a lot of parents just don't want to talk to their kids. No. I wish my kids would punch a bitch. Like, <laughs> me too. I, like, my kids get so bullied because they are nice kids. And like they are like, no, I don't, I'd rather get bullied than be mean to somebody. Are you fucking kidding me? I realize I broke you and I taught you that you need to be good to everybody. But like, you're getting put down, you're getting beaten, you're getting abused. Like, fucking hit them. Like, yeah. I realize I grew up a little ghetto and aggressive, but like, Sometimes you got to fucking hit somebody. And my kids are so fucking stupid. I love you guys. But, like, they're so <laughs> stupid and won't fucking hit people who hurt them. And it drives me crazy. If I had to pick one thing I don't like about my fucking kids, they don't hit people. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> so, the, if I had to pick something that bothers me about my kid, um, it'd be that he's too open. 
<laughs> he <laughs> will talk to me like I'm his friend. And I have to keep kindly reminding him, like, this isn't a conversation you should be having with your mother. I understand I've had you to like do girls that now. <laughs> I don't need to hear what cup size that girl's chest is. Like, no, thank you. I don't need to hear that. Like, you can keep that information to yourself. That's okay. But he just, he'll always come to my bedroom and be like, so I kissed this girl. I'm like, oh, oh my God. Okay, I don't care. Like, just, I'm glad that, you know, you found someone you like. That, that makes me happy. Um, but let's keep it to the minimum, please. Like, <laughs> yeah. but no, he's the- so open about everything. He'll tell me everything. And I'm just like, I'm your mother, not your friend. Stop. <laughs> I don't care. I don't need to hear this. But yeah, that that's the one thing I have a problem with my kid. He's just, I I want to make sure that there was communication between me and him. Yeah, so for I've sure. always told him, you know, if you need to tell me anything, like you can. If you go to a party and there's drinking and you don't feel comfortable, you can call me. Even if you have been drinking underage, I don't care if you're unsafe. Like if it feels unsafe, call me. I will not give you trouble. Somewhere down the line, he thought, I can tell my mom everything. And so, <laughs> therefore, he does. And I'm all like, no, no, there's a line. You crossed it. Stop that. No, no, thank you. <laughs> that is my issue with my oldest. And my youngest, I don't really have an issue yet. He's five. So, we'll wait. <laughs> For both my kids, I just wish they would clean more. <laughs> like, that's literally it. Like, I, I, I don't, I'm not even expecting, like, a lot of help just like a little bit like either um you know pick up just pick up your own shit like even that would be like helpful like if Leary picked up her toys and Ernest picked up his stuff and brought his dishes out of his room and whatever else then I'd be like what cool. is with teenage boys <laughs> hoarding all the dishes all of all them. the dishes it's just um, it's not just boys it's just all teenagers okay like <laughs> but like Nicholas okay he had in his room I sh- shit you not garbage mountain he had a garbage bag full of his garbage like it wasn't scattered all of his room but he started in a corner of his room just stocking garbage bags instead of taking them out i'm like this is gross like take it out he's like the bags are tied mom there's no smell it's just there yeah. is a smell they just <laughs> like, let's do smell. it yes i i wish my kids opened more fucking windows they all smell so fucking bad. <laughs> like, why do you smell so bad? I know why. You have hormones. I want to spray like, for breeze on Nicholas when he walks by. Just like, squirt, squirt, While squirt. they're sleeping. <laughs> like, I know you shower. But, like, maybe while they're sleeping. Fucking for breeze them. Like, you know those commercials? That's what they should have. They should have, like, camp or something. And, like, there's a bunch of teenagers in a cabin. And, like, you're like, oh, God, I'm going to vomit. And then you spritz for breeze. And then you're like, oh, okay. It's fine. Okay. It's okay. It, <laughs> it gets rid of... It gets rid of teenage smells. Like, that should be their slogan. It doesn't usually. Like, it covers up dog smell fine. Teenagers, I they need to make something stronger. Like, it's... I just feel like the bacteria has just become such a super bacteria over the generations of teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> They've evolved evolution. Of, like, yeah, it's been evolutionary <laughs> to the point where now Febreze used to cover early 2000 teenage smell. <laughs> <laughs> and we just haven't the 2020 it, smells are just yeah, not we doing just, it like no we need a new formula we need to update for breeze <laughs> listen for breeze if you're listening give us stronger stuff hashtag stronger for breeze <laughs> my teenager smells too bad too like, bad just- you also like have a lot of them at four. Yeah, you have <laughs> all the teenagers. And they're separated in the house. So, like, no matter what end of the house you go to, it fucking smells like teenagers. <laughs> so, like, one wing in the basement. So, like, yeah, my, I, my house is, like, I have the wing. So, one wing has one teenager. One wing has another teenager. And then the other floor, one wing has a teenager. And, like, just four corners of hell in my house. <laughs> like, it's just... And then the dogs are in the middle. And, like... <laughs> I think a dog smell up on there. I can I can deal with the dog smell. Those are easy. They it's easy to clean up dogs. You just change their sheets every day. But like the <laughs> fucking kids. And then I don't know. Like even with their open windows, nature doesn't want it. 
It's like, no. <laughs> That's what I'm pushing <laughs> back in the house. Like, yeah, no, no, we don't want that. It's like, no. Go back. No. Fuck. It's gross. Fuck. I'm, they, they'll outgrow it, right? Right. Like, that's I a thing. I hope so. I don't, I don't smell I don't. bad anymore. Maybe we just got used to it. Like, yeah. used to our own smell. <laughs> Maybe we yeah. do smell. <laughs> Fuck. We just don't notice. And then you maybe don't... our spouses don't notice because they also got used to it. Nose blind <laughs> from their smells. And yeah. like now we join smells. So now we just don't know. Like we don't know if we smell because we're just nose blind. I don't I wore deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. A lot of the time, a lot of the time people like their own smells too. Yeah. So it's like it, you can smell BO. But you can also be like, yeah, it's not that bad. Oh, no. Every time, like, like Kyle starts to smell funky, I'm like, no, you can't come near me anymore. You did some housework, so now you smell bad. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, when David gets home from work, I'm all like, shower. Shower, please. Yeah. I'm that weird person that, like, when Chris would get smelly, I'd be like... Oh, that's so good. <laughs> so good. I know. And you'd be like, what are you doing? I'd be like, I like your stink. <laughs> I don't Does that mean I don't like Kyle? No, because I I've liked other people and thought they would smell and be like, you know, you smell. But like with Chris, I'm just like I don't I don't <sighs> like his pheromones, his manly must. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no. You know what I, I did like, like though? When Dave worked at Tim Hortons and when he'd come home, like it didn't smell like sweat. It just smelled like coffee. And I That's love that. Smell. Like, the smell of coffee. I'm just like, yes. So, I'll date anyone who works at a coffee shop. That I'm just saying. Yeah. That's <laughs> just saying. You work Anybody. at Starbucks, and you are my crypt. Like, I just want you. I'm just saying. That's what a barista? Barista? Yeah. Barista. I'm Male just saying, boots. barista sounds more exotic and uh, dirty than stripper to me. It does. It, does. it has a little bit. <laughs> like, I just feel like shaking my shoulders to it, you know? Like, stripper. I'm like, stripper. Yeah. Stripper yeah. sounds like somewhat like a, like a f- type of factory worker. I was just going to say, it sounds like a construction yeah, worker. Like, it is. Yeah. That's like, I'm pretty sure there's people's jobs called like, a stripper. <laughs> There yeah, are like, strippers, but I feel like but then you got the or something like these you know. What are you so It sounds saying. like a Spanish, like escort, a Spanish, like a barista, Spanish. Like, just a Spanish, like Spanish. that was the sentence. <laughs> That's just, they sound like a Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Spanish. <laughs> okay, fuck off. <laughs> uh, you know what's attractive? Anyway. When Kyle takes care of my chickens. So, like, Kyle, like, saved, like, the chicken's life yesterday. And, like, even though that was fucking gross, I was like, you're a sexy man with your chicken saving skills. <laughs> That's I like when Dave puts shelves on my walls. When I <laughs> see like, that electric drill come out, I'm like, shit, you know? Like, people see, are like, oh. For me, it's just, like, whenever Chris would, like, sing or play guitar, I'd just be like, Ugh. <laughs> like, you know, like this deep, like, ugh. <laughs> you know, like, I don't like sound. Is that your you sexy noise? Yeah, like, it would just be this, this like, it, you'd get it, like, deep in, like, your gut almost, you know? <laughs> and I just, like, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> don't stop. Yeah, I, you gotta remember, like, I met him, like, just before I turned 24, and I was like, he plays guitar. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i like those practical skills i guess yeah like, i know i know now now that we have two kids and we're married in a house i'm like man practical skills would have been <laughs> here I, here i am putting the shelves on the wall right? <laughs> although i would i would like one that makes money Right, that's yeah. true. <laughs> that's sexy, he right? does do that, so you know, and he does that while playing guitar and singing to other right? people. We should I guess. just like share each other's husbands and just make them into one. Like one can smell <laughs> like, like coffee. What are we doing and, like, now? What one, one can do stuff around the house, and the other one can serenade, and you just mix them into one person. You know? <laughs> okay, so we'll DNA splice. We right. just need a full genome. Yes. Uh, sequencing <laughs> <laughs> those like wombs we can make 
you know <laughs> maybe we can just like swap them every once in a while when we need whatever done like traveling pants yeah a oh, traveling husbands there Sister, we what go. Is a traveling husbands <laughs> We need the coffee one, we got the singing one, and we got the putting up shelves one. Now remember, they wrote, they wrote like little stories or whatever in the pant leg. <laughs> so so we maybe we should just like write on like each husband's arm what we use them for. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll switch them out. I and have like, to watch this story. movie again. I haven't watched, I haven't like read or watched Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants in years. And now I'm like, oh, oh Blake Lively, pre nose job. Gotta watch it. Oh, <laughs> right? man. She was still really cute then. I yeah. Know. I don't think did, she could have done it for medical reasons. I don't know. Most Hollywood. Don't I mean, do same with Jennifer reasons. Aniston. Jennifer Aniston could have done it for medical reasons. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever <sighs> makes you happy. I'm not judging. Oh, I'm like, not judging yeah. about the nose yeah. job. I'm just saying no. I wish I wish celebrities would acknowledge it. Yeah, <laughs> instead of doing it and just not talking about it. Like, why don't they just be like, hey, guess what? Got my nose done. This was my surgeon. This is what it cost. This was what we did. Like, I feel so much better. Like, you know, normalize it. Yeah, like, because, like, I would totally reason. get it done if I could afford it. I mean, I made yeah. a nose job. I got a little, you know, I, I don't have much of a nose to, like, alt alter. I don't know, sometimes... Sometimes my nose looks really big, depending on the angle I'm at. I get then, this though. I don't know. That's just that's just there because I'm a fatty now. Well, then I'd get lipo. Oh, <laughs> like, isn't there an age where you're like too old for these things? Like I'm worried if I no. go under for fun, but I'm gonna not wake up. <laughs> No, I mean, obviously, there's a risk with every surgery, and obviously, like, as you get older or whatever, but they do risk assessments and pre-op before you go yeah. under. So they would tell yeah. you, like, even for my LASIK surgery, they do, like, a bunch of, like, measurements and stuff before they even clear you for it. Yeah. Like, you don't even get the okay until after those are done. Right. So, like, you go to your appointment ready to, like, be told that you can't get it done. Basically. <laughs> yeah. Listen. <laughs> Your heart won't uh, last long, basically. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, fine, but whatever. May that's what I've been thinking is like maybe if I go for plastic surgery, they'll find out what's wrong with me. Like maybe right? they'll, 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 they'll check physical. me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like maybe they'll do an actual physical that my doctor won't do. There we that's go. actually maybe maybe I'll maybe I will look into that because <laughs> female I, health in Ontario right? sucks. <laughs> it sucks everywhere. They're bastards. Yeah. Although, like I read that, like you can go to like a resort and get a whole bunch of work done, and then like you have pool boys bringing you drinks. That's the kind of place I've I heard go. that too. <laughs> right. Want to plan a girls trip and go get some work yes. done? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You're like, yes. It's yes. like I think it's like in like India. Like India is one of the like the cheapest, more successful. Oh, places Dubai. To get yes. to Dubai. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just go. I won't be able to breathe there because it's so fucking polluted. I will die. But we can still go. You'll for look fun. pretty doing it. I right. <laughs> it's like, like, You'll look hot. I'll get one breath done before like I go and then they'll like <laughs> bring me back home and then like my open casket will have like one giant boob and one <laughs> flat. <laughs> no, no, they'll finish you. We'll oh, make sure okay. it's even before the casket. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll you make sure you're taken friends. care of. You're good friends. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, can you okay. just do the other boob? Like, I know it's post mortem, like, mortem, like, it's cool. She knows. Um, can you still just fix that before, you know, it. we put her in the casket? Thanks. Do you think you have okay, to pay for I've it? never had surgery. Like, any type of surgery. I've oh. had two wisdom teeth taken oh, out I in have. which they just did local aesthetic. It's like, like, local anesthetic. So yeah. it was just a needle of freezing. That was it. I've never had any other anything. So, like, I've I never have. been put to sleep. And that, I like, have. freaks me out. <laughs> Because uh, I'm like 31 and I've never been put to sleep, and so I have uh, no idea yeah. like how I would like 
feel, react. I guess. Maybe you yeah, should react. ask them to like, before you do any surgery, can you put me under for a little bit and see what happens? Yeah, can we just test drive it? Can we just test drive? So the first time that I had surgery was an emergency C-section. And it's not like you get a choice because it was all like bang, bang, bang. Like we're wheeling you in and then we're putting you under like right away. There was no um Because they didn't have time to freeze you, really. right? Yeah. Right. No, like it was just like go, 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 right? Because they had to get um Caleb out of me. His heartbeat yeah. was dropping like dramatically. And so they didn't prep me. They didn't ask me any questions. They didn't ask if I had any piercings in, like, my second surgery. They were just like, nope, put the mask on, and then I was out. And then I woke up, and, like, there was just no, no conversation. So I didn't even have a chance to panic because it happened <laughs> so fucking fast. Um, my second, though, was my gallbladder. And that's where they had to do a lot of prep before. And that was an emergency surgery as well, but I still had two days before I had to get done. And yeah. um, they still prepped me and they still talked to me in pre-op and um, they explained how they were going to put me under and that they were going to put a tube down my throat uh, to be incubated um, or intubated, sorry, um, yeah, sorry, during your surgery. And like they explained how it was going to affect me and what they were doing. And they very detailed on how the surgery was going to be performed and what to expect. And, you know, um, but yeah, my first one. There was nothing. There was just go, go, go. And I didn't even get a chance to panic. So by the time my second one hit, I was just like, yeah, whatever. I'll sign here. Just do it. Because I know I'm fine. But yeah, well, I think that's the best way to go. Just do it. <laughs> Ernest had to be put under. And that was like the scariest thing. Like, oh, having yeah. to like, yeah. watch him be put under. Because they have yeah. to like hold them. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Yes. Yeah. Pin them and down. <laughs> yeah. It was only, it was for an MRI. But they needed him in there for like 50 minutes and he has seizures and, you know, like he, he was nine at the time. So they put them under generally um, f to keep them still. And so yeah. like he had to be put under and we had to go to like pre-op and everything like that. And he's like nine. He has no idea. And he was so sick waking up and like his fear didn't even start until he was waking up. Yeah, Aww. and then he was waking up, and he's like, "Where am I? Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, what yeah. happened? You know, I feel sick." And it was just like it was heartbreaking watching that. And then I'm like, "Oh my god, can I do that?" You do feel confused when you wake up, like you do get a confusion both times. I got confusion. Yeah, you do. You just yeah. wake up and you're, you know, you have to come to, and you see all new, like a new room that you weren't in before. So I mean, it does have a lot. Of confusion Usually, the going nurses on. are pretty nice. Like I've had a bunch of surgery, and uh, um, it's usually I'm like, oh my god, is it over already? And then they're like, yeah, yeah. And then usually I'm like, do I get a popsicle? And then they're like, no, you're not as young as you used to be. So that's not fair. <laughs> but <laughs> popsicles for every age. When I was when I was 16, I had surgery to get rid of the cancer, but they weren't able to get it. And they gave me popsicles. So when I was 17 to, like, get rid of the cancer, I was like, oh, do I get a popsicle? And they told me no. Like, that was only one year difference. Like, you weren't even an adult. Technically. Right? I should still get yeah. popsicles. You should. But, like, hospital. Right? I should have. <laughs> Sue, Sue McMaster. <laughs> yeah. Not giving me a popsicle. But then yeah. when Karen would get little, she needed surgery. And I knew exactly what was going to happen because, like, I went through surgery a few times and um, I had to hold her down. I fucking cried. I knew it was nothing, but I felt like I was, like, being a fucking asshole. I'm like, it's okay, honey. Have this mask over your face. She's like, I don't want it. Too bad. Like, you don't that, fucking that totally, it. They, they have a startle response. Yeah. So when they're about to fall asleep, they startle because yeah. they, they get scared. Like, it's, like, terrifying. Yeah. And, like, you're watching your kid be, like, frightened and then just pass out. And you're just, like, you just, you can't help. And, like, it was just for, it wasn't even surgery for me. It was literally an MRI. And I was just, like, oh, my God. <laughs> it was it was just corrective surgery for her eyes. She had a yeah. lazy eye. She was getting fixed. That's it. And I fucking cried so hard. Like, I abused my kid. I felt yeah. like I belonged in jail. It was, it was nothing, though. Like, but then she got popsicles. She got popsicles. That's all you're focused on. You're like, she got fucking popsicles. What right? the hell? And like when Kara was three, technically I was still a child. Like I was still <laughs> under 20. I should have got popsicles for her going under I surgery. Should, right?
She got a fucking popsicle. I feel like there should be popsicles for every patient. Like, I, if I'm 80 age. and I just had surgery, give me a fucking popsicle. Yeah. Like, I only have a few good years left. Right? Your throat is so fucking sore and dry. Why can't I have a fucking popsicle? Uh, we don't want you throwing up. I'm throwing up liquid. It'll be yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quit being ridiculous, Susan. Give me All a right, guys, I think it's time. Yeah. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're having too going much on. fun. Hey, we, we all been. answered the question. We did all answer the question, technically. We did. And we all answered, I mean, me and Sonia are pretty much the same age. Uh, Dawn wants Always. to live in her teen years forever. Yep. Legal right? teen years. Legal. Oh, no, it was just under legal, but I still yeah. have no responsibility. That's right. Well, no, but I mean, you're technically an adult, but technically also a teenager. You can vote. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. I can vote. That was all. That's all I wanted. You can drink in <laughs> Quebec. Yes, strippers See? in Quebec that do full nudity at 18. Bam. Okay. <laughs> okay, we should go on a trip. Yeah, <laughs> now, now, I'm, now I'm excited for full nudity Quebec strippers. Like, Montreal is halfway for both all of us. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, oh we my God. We get to, I, that's actually a good idea. Okay. We could meet in Montreal. We could meet in Montreal. We could totally yeah, do it. And we go. Oh, that was my motorboat, guys. <laughs> Oh, I was like, what is she doing? She's just buzzing. <laughs> I, was, I, was just, I was getting my face in there. If you want to see how Sonya motor votes, don't forget <laughs> to listen to her to watch us on Saturday. We got, the, we got the liquid on Jessica's boobies. We yeah. got Dunry doing something with her boob she did. I think she lifted and them up. I edited a bunch of stuff out that yeah. you're missing so if you're confused about context that's where to find it make sure to check us, <laughs> check us out on all of our social medias especially tiktok we're really trying to reach a thousand uh people so we can live stream on there uh from that account just search us as uh, opinionated lushes and we should you'll pop see up. our little cartoon logo Woo -hoo. yes Woo -hoo. all right everyone oh and night. our bonus content oh. on patreon yes we are Shit, gonna be go. having Hopefully, by the time this episode airs, there will be <laughs> special uh, sound bites of us on our Patreon. We will link those on all our social media. So when you follow us on those, you'll see that Patreon link. And you can find some bonus content that no one else can get, but you guys exclusive. Woo. All right. Chat to all you right. Later. See you guys.